Hey everyone, before I get into today's video, I want to remind you to enter our paper Mario the Origami King giveaway. To enter, all you gotta do is comment down below, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell icon. You do that on every single video in the month of July. Uh, that gets you an additional entry. Uh, and yeah, we'll announce the winner at the end of the month. Good luck. Now, the thing we're gonna talk about today is about this general opinion I've seen out there that Nintendo fans are entitled. Uh, this is something that I think has become even more prevalent the longer we go without a Nintendo Direct. And I believe the last Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase thing uh, kind of highlighted uh, for some people why Nintendo fans seem like they're entitled because uh, we tend to get a little bit upset that we didn't get any more announcements from Nintendo, that there was only, you know, four games in the US one. And, like all this stuff that makes people feel like we are asking almost too much out of Nintendo and should just be respectful of what we have already. And to a point, I agree that there are people that take things a little too far, they overreact, all that jazz. That's true across the board. We're seeing that today with the whole uh, Xbox showcase where there's some really negative takes out there that are just taking things a little bit too far. And that happens with every video game fan of any company or any game in general. So yes, there are people that do take this too far, but as one of those people that does expect more from Nintendo, I gotta disagree with this idea that I am entitled um, or acting entitled. I do think um, by the raw definition, you can argue I'm entitled because I think that Nintendo owes us um, something. But I also don't think there's anything wrong with looking forward to things. Let me explain. I don't think we're getting a Nintendo Direct the rest of this year. Not the kind of Direct we want. A first party, jam-packed, oodles of games. I think Nintendo, with their own properties, as they just did with Paper Mario about a month or two ago, they're just going to drop trailers for their own stuff on social media and leave it at that and that's what they're doing the rest of this year i don't think they're going to do any minis or any specific nintendo direct event to do that i think they're going to stick with the showcases yes it's going to lead to uh the nintendo direct brand kind of being lessened in its impact but we're still going to get some game announcements from nintendo we're not just going to get paper mario and nothing the rest of the year but i think it's okay as video game fans to expect something more from nintendo at this point at least what's coming next after paper mario because I'm looking at this coming soon page and I'm like why shouldn't we be demanding more so let's just take a look here um, at this coming soon page uh, you'll see here uh, that there's there's uh, these are just recent games you know coming out lots of indie titles and all that there's always indie games coming nothing wrong with that um, you know all that jazz but you start going down this you start to wonder where's the where's the Nintendo games I'm, I'm looking here um, okay we're into August now where where's the Nintendo games I'm, I'm still waiting uh nintendo can, can can i hear you um okay oh wait now now we're jumping you know from summer all the way up to late 2020 uh we're looking at you know september here november mid 2020 I, i'm still not seeing nintendo games and this is page one and then we're already down to tbd which tbd are basically games that are announced you know like bravely default 2 that might be the next biggest Switch game, if that even comes up coming this year, but it's not a Nintendo game. So we'll click on View More Games here, and we'll just keep looking. Um, I I'm still not seeing like anything at all from Nintendo. Um, I'm still going, still waiting, not even something small. Like This is a company whose 3DS and Wii U teams are all making games for Switch, and uh, I, I, don't I don't see anything. It's almost as if Paper Mario came out and there's nothing else that we can look forward to. Well, at least that is until you get towards the end of the list and then you start getting into the games that were barely announced, which aren't even here. Like Metro Prime 4 or Breath of the Wild 2, not even on here because guess what? This is the coming soon section. There's nothing coming from Nintendo at this point. And 
The fact that there doesn't seem to be anything coming from Nintendo is exactly why I think it's okay for us as Nintendo fans to be a little bit more demanding that Nintendo does something about this. I, I, I'm completely understanding of the pandemic, COVID-19. I hope everyone's healthy and doing well. And if you're not, that you recover uh, or that your family members recover and take all the necessary precautions you think you need to do to keep yourself and your family safe. I'm not here to tell you what to do with your life. But I do think that it's reasonable uh, for a platform that is the number one selling platform every single month of this year, a platform that has probably the best selling game of the year so far, Animal Crossing New Horizons. I think it's reasonable for us to keep asking Nintendo what's next. Because after Animal Crossing, what's next ended up being Paper Mario. Paper Mario's art, what's next? Nothing. A big fat nothing burger. Nintendo is in the midst of their best sales year ever for Switch. And we've got two games. I mean, we could talk about Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. I guess you could toss that in there as well. But the point I'm saying is that we don't know what's next. And now, this isn't me panicking. I clearly think Nintendo has a, at least one big holiday game. I don't know what it is, but they have something. Obviously, the pandemic has led to delays. But as a Nintendo fan, I think it's reasonable to be like, what's, what's going on? And I think it's only going to get more and more frustrating as the year goes on. Last month, we had Sony drop a whole bunch of news for PlayStation 5 games. Today, we just had Microsoft drop a whole bunch of news for Xbox games. And now it feels like it's Nintendo's turn. But Nintendo doesn't seem interested in playing that game. So I think it's okay for us to make demands of Nintendo to a certain extent. I don't think we should be demanding a Nintendo Direct. I understand if you are of mind that we are owed a Nintendo Direct. Our last true Nintendo Direct was back in September of 2019, so we're almost a year out. So I get the demand and the desire, but I think Nintendo does owe us. I think one thing we, we can expect and should be demanding is that they announce something. We should always know what's coming next, unless, like Wii U, Paper Mario Color Splash is it, and we're getting next-gen Switch next year, and that's why we haven't heard anything. Remember, they did that with Wii U. Paper Mario Color Splash was it. That, that was like the final game released on Wii U. So now if we have Paper Mario the Origami King and that's the final game released on Switch, okay, well then let us know about next gen, I guess. But we know that's not the case. Nintendo has repeatedly stated throughout this year that they plan to have a long life for Switch and it's going to be extended more than usual. Okay, that's fine. And they should. We are in the midst of the best sales year for Switch yet. So what's next? Do you know? We know about some games that have been announced, like Metroid Prime 4. Heck, you want to go all the way back to the Wii U days and talk about Pikmin 4? Back when uh, Miyamoto was teasing that? Uh, do we want to get into Breath of the Wild 2 that we got teased at last year's E3? Like, these are some games we know exist. Bayonetta 3 announced however many years ago at this point. We know these games exist. But we don't know when they're coming. And we don't know what else Nintendo has in the works. Are we looking at a Mario Kart 9 coming up? How about an ARMS 2? Are we looking at a Splatoon 3? They just started Splatfest up again in Splatoon. Are they doing that in anticipation of a Splatoon 3 announcement? Like, I'm all for Nintendo announcing things when they're ready. But I don't think we've ever hit a period in Switch's life where we don't know what's next at all. Like, it's fine if we don't know what the holiday title is, but we don't even know what the next Nintendo game, the, ne the next Nintendo published game is going to be on Switch. What, the DLC for Cadence of Hyrule? We're supposed to just accept that as the next Nintendo published thing? I mean, maybe they have something to do with the publishing of Shin Megami Tensei V in 2021, potentially a year plus away. I don't think it's unreasonable as Nintendo fans to be a little upset about all this. And I feel like this is why... Um, I don't think it's right to criticize Nintendo fans at this point for expecting more. It's not just because of what Sony and Microsoft are doing. It's because we are in the midst of the best selling year for Switch ever and we still don't know what's coming next for Nintendo. We know we're going to probably get NBA 2K and FIFA and all that stuff from the third parties, Doom Eternal. But like, what? when are we getting Nintendo stuff? That's the frustrating part. Where is Nintendo stuff? They're just no show. And I get they could fix this tomorrow. They could fix this next week. They could fix it next month. We could get a massive Nintendo Direct and they could blow us all up. But we should have ever got to this point. And I think it's okay to be frustrated that we are at this point that we don't know. It felt like we were at that point when Animal Crossing came out too. And then they kind of dropped the little Paper Mario stuff out there. But we shouldn't be at this point. We should know 
the next three games coming to Switch from Nintendo, even if those three games aren't until 2021, we should know what they are. And maybe we do. Maybe it's Metroid Prime 4, Breath of the Wild 2, and Bayonetta 3. Maybe that is it. Maybe because those are announced games, that is it. But, mm, seems doubtful. So, I... I'm just trying to plead, I guess, with gaming fans out there that are really critical of Nintendo fans, and even other Nintendo fans that are critical of Nintendo fans, that be understanding about why we feel entitled to knowing what's next. Because we should know. We shouldn't have to question what's the next game coming to Switch from Nintendo. Throughout the entirety, like, even before, even before Switch was announced in October of 2016, we knew Breath of the Wild was going to be a launch game. We knew Just Dance was going to be a launch game. We knew two games before Switch was even announced that were going to launch on the platform. So even before Switch was fully announced as a platform, we always knew what was coming next. Here I sit, end of July of 2020, in the midst of the most popular sales year in the history of Switch, and I have no freaking idea what game we're getting next from Nintendo. And that, that that just feels wrong. It feels dirty. Imagine that imagine that PlayStation 5 and Xbox were, were Xbox Series X were out on the market and we just got past launch and there's a whole bunch of um, you know huge sales numbers, all that over the holidays, and you get to January and you're like, oh, we don't know about a single game coming to the platform. A single, not even one game coming to the platform from Sony or Microsoft. Wouldn't that be insane that you don't even know about a game coming? We know technically about three announced games, but games we haven't seen. Metro Prime 4 might as well not even exist at this point because we haven't seen it. Bayonetta 3 might as well not exist at this point because we haven't seen it. Breath of the Wild 2, you can argue we've seen it. We saw a cutscene. We have not seen any gameplay. Without gameplay, it's like it doesn't exist. It's fine to be hyped about those games, but they don't feel close. I'd like to think they're close, but we don't have any evidence to show that they are. So in my mind, we don't know what's coming next from Nintendo on Switch. And that is why we're so demanding of directs. That's why we're so demanding of even just an, like me right now. I'm demanding of just dropping trailers and, and announcements out there on social media because it is infuriating that we don't know what's coming. And I think it's okay to be a little bit upset about that that being said obviously now is a great time to catch up on your backlog it's been a great time all of 2020 really to catch up on your backlog on switch i've been catching up on my 2019 backlog and i still have plenty to play i haven't even started fire emblem three houses or pokemon sword and shield so i still have plenty of stuff to fill my time i don't have an issue with filling my gaming space but i do have an issue with every day coming on to this YouTube platform and thinking, man, I would really love to talk about the next Nintendo game. But I don't know what it is. So then, oh, I can speculate. Are we going to get Splatoon 3? Are we going to get this? Are we going to get that? But then I'm just taking shots in the freaking dark instead of actually talking about and hyping up something coming to the platform. Heck, I even had a couple of videos on Paper Mario, and I'm not even a huge Paper Mario fan. So, come on, Nintendo. That being said, I am Nintendo Open Jazz from Nintendo Prime. Be sure to enter our giveaway. Uh, let me know your thoughts on all of this and all the giant gaming news landing. There's been a, lots of cool stuff. Uh, third party announcements are still coming to Switch. One of the big announcements uh, that happened in the pre show uh, for Xbox Series X also happens to be coming to Switch. Really cool looking game. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. <sighs> Catch you guys in the next video.